Good morning ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 16th of may which of the following bowlers has been adjudged as 2019 cat international bowler of the year right answer is mr jaspreet bumrah so in 2019 cat international cricketer and batsman of the year category mr virat kohli was declared winner while in bowler category mr jaspreet bumrah won the award if we talk about cricket recently mumbai indians won ipl tournament for the fourth time mr david warner was the leading run scorer while mr imran tahir was the leading wicket taker and mr andre russell was the man of the series and mr subman gill was the amazing player of the tournament on the other hand if we talk about few other events related to cricket recently it was in news that amul will be the principal sponsor of afghanistan cricket team for 2019 icc world cup on the other hand recently espn cricket info has partnered with iit madras to launch super stats super stats is a next level artificial intelligence tool to analyze cricket statistics the united nations has decided to hold its 2020 ocean conference in which of the following cities right answer is lisbon so united nations general assembly has decided to hold high level 2020 united nations conference in lisbon in portugal if we talk about portugal it is an european country and the capital of portugal is lisbon in fact mr antonio guterres who is the secretary general of united nations is also from portugal if we talk about united nations general assembly it recently celebrated first ever international day of multilateralism and diplomacy for peace on 24th of april apart from that recently united nations honored 115 un peacekeepers and staff for their sacrifices and out of these people two were indian one was mr jitender kumar and another one was ms sikha garg apart from that recently united nations appointed 17 global figures as the new advocates for sustainable development goals and out of these 17 indian actress ms diya mirza is also there in the list united nations was also in news as recently united nations security council 1267 committee declared jais e mohammad chief masood azhar a designated terrorist who of the following spinners has become the world's most successful women's odi spinner right answer is ms sana mir so pakistan's off spinner ms sana mir became the most successful women's odi spinner in the world it should be kept in mind that she is not the highest wicket taker overall she is the highest wicket taker in spinner category if we talk about overall she is behind ms jhulan goswami who is from india and from catherine fitz patrick who is from australia so overall ms sana mir is on third position but if we talk about spinners only then she is on first position apart from that recently ms sana mir had become the first asian women cricketer to play 100 t20 matches ms sana mir is from pakistan and recently the autobiography of pakistani cricketer mr sahid afridi was in news the name of autobiography was game changer if we talk about few other events related to cricket recently the first edition of world's first exclusive women's cricket magazine crick zone has been released in jaipur in rajasthan and indian cricketer ms smriti mandhana featured as a cover story of the first edition of this magazine apart from that recently ms mitali raj has been named as goodwill ambassador of indian cricket team for street child cricket world cup on the other hand recently ms claire polosak from australia became the first female umpire to stand in men's one day international match she was the umpire in a match between oman and namibia on the other hand recently mr kumar sangakara became the first non british president of marlebone cricket club which country has started test run on world's 
fastest ever bullet train alpha x right answer is japan so japan has started the test of world's fastest ever bullet train alpha x it is capable of reaching 400 kilometers per hour if we talk about japan it was in news recently because of its decision to withdraw from international whaling commission apart from that recently reserve bank of india and bank of japan have signed a bilateral currency swap agreement for 75 billion dollar on the other hand recently japanese spacecraft have successfully created the first ever artificial crater on asteroid raigu the name of spacecraft was hayabusa 2 apart from that the first ever india japan space dialogue held in march 2019 in new delhi on the other hand japan was also in news as mr poranik yogendra has become the first ethnic indian to contest and win an election in japan yuvika 2019 which is in news recently is associated to which organizations right answer is isro so isro chairman dr k sivan has recently inaugurated young scientist program for school children the objective of this initiative is to impart basic knowledge on space technology space science and space applications to younger ones if we talk about isro it is indian space research organization it is under department of space and it was formed on 15th of august in 1969 the headquarter of isro is in bengaluru and presently dr k sivan is the chairman of isro apart from that recently former isro chairman mr a s kiran kumar has been conferred with france highest civilian award isro was also in news as it launched human space flight center in bengaluru for human space flight program apart from that isro was also in news because of samvad initiative with students as a part of its outreach program who won the women's single title at 2019 madrid open tennis tournament right answer is kiki bertans so miss kiki bertans has won the women's single title at 2019 madrid open tennis tournament and recently mr novak djokovic won the men's single title at the 2019 madrid open tennis tournament if we talk about madrid it is the capital of spain spain shares border boundary with france and portugal spain was also in news as recently spain conferred grand cross of order of civil merit award to miss susma swaraj if we talk about awards recently ips officer miss chaya sharma has been awarded 2019 mccain institute award for courage and leadership on the other hand recently mr rahim sterling and miss nikita paris won footballer of the year award by football writers association next is which insurance company has recently launched the mosquito disease protection policy right answer is sdfc argo so sdfc argo general insurance company has recently launched mosquito disease protection policy that means this new policy will cover an individual against common mosquito borne disease like dengue malaria chikungunya kala ajar if we talk about sdfc recently sdfc icici bank and sbi has been given the status of domestic systematically important banks by the rbi sdfc was also in news as recently forbes compiled a list of world's best bank in terms of their services and technological advancements as per this list sdfc is the top bank in india icici is on second position in india while sbi is on 11th position sdfc was also in news as it recently signed a memorandum of understanding with bombay stock exchange to spread awareness about benefits of listing on bsc startup platform and bombay stock exchange was also in news as it recently collaborated with ignu for an awareness program on goods and services tax now ventures which has launched its first ever venture capital fund for agriculture and rural focused startups 
is the subsidiary of which of the following organizations right answer is nabard so nav ventures is a subsidiary of nabard and recently it has launched its first ever 700 crore venture capital fund for investments in agriculture and rural focused startups now this is first time that nabard has launched a fund of its own earlier it used to contribute to the other funds only if we talk about nabard it is national bank for agriculture and rural development recently nabard was in news as rbi has divested its entire stakes in national housing bank and nabard so now nhb and nabard are 100% government owned institutions nabard was also in news as recently government of india signed an agreement with nabard consultancy services for setting up india africa institute of agriculture and rural development in malawi and this nabard consultancy services is a fully owned subsidiary of nabard if we talk about malawi recently government of malawi has launched pilot test for world's first malaria vaccine the name of vaccine was rtss which of the following countries have jointly organized the 2019 admm plus maritime exercise right answer is singapore and south korea so the exercise was jointly organized by singapore and south korea if we talk about admm plus it stands for asean defense ministers meeting total 18 countries are the part of this meeting these 18 countries are 10 asean countries plus australia india japan new zealand and china and south korea apart from these 16 countries russia and us are the part of this meeting now it should be kept in mind that out of these 18 members if we exclude russia and usa the remaining 16 members are negotiating for rcep that is regional comprehensive economic partnership if we talk about singapore singapore was in news recently as it passed a fake news law apart from that singapore was also in news because of joint military exercise bold krukshetra it was between indian army and singapore armed force and it held in jhansi in uttar pradesh singapore was also in news as the world's tallest indoor waterfall has opened for general public at singapore's changi airport if we talk about geographical location of singapore it is an asian country and it is the part of asean which country is hosting conference on dialogue of asian civilizations right answer is china so china is hosting the conference on dialogue of asian civilizations in collaboration with unesco in beijing if we talk about china it was in news recently as it successfully tested world's first armed amphibious drone boat named marine lizard china was also in news as recently asian tea alliance was launched in china the tea associations of five countries are the member of this alliance these five countries are india china indonesia sri lanka and japan apart from that china was the host of second edition of belt and road forum and the theme of this forum was belt and road cooperation shaping a brighter shared future belt and road initiative was also in news as recently italy officially joined china's belt and road initiative and it is the first g7 country to officially join bri thank you and that's all for the day